Hey guys, I'm Laurel. Welcome to the Tip Club. We help servers become pros at the restaurant and in real life. Now, if you're not new to our channel, you've probably heard me say a couple of times, maybe, you have to know the menu. Now, if you're new to the channel, well, first of all, welcome. And secondly, you have to know the menu. So, today we're gonna to talk about how to study the menu and what's the most effective way for learning the menu and then a lot of why. I always ask, why do we need to know? Why is this important? So I'm gonna go over that in today's video. So let's get going. So some restaurants do a really great job on training on the menu. They make sure that you've tasted a lot of the different foods, you've been able to learn them as you've been in your basic training, and other restaurants unfortunately don't. But friends, let me tell you something. From this point onwards, knowing the menu is on you. It's not about your restaurant anymore. It's about you building yourself as an expert. We have to know what our products are to best advise our customers and to add the most value. So that's why we have to know the menu. Now, if I was going to go to the Apple store, I would expect them to look at my phone and know a whole lot more about it than I do, because they're the experts. Now, when somebody comes into the restaurant, they expect you to be that expert. You need to know what is going on behind the scenes and how to recommend things to them and what comes with each dish. This is your area of expertise. Now, I promise you that learning the menu isn't only going to help you financially, but it also helps relieve your stress when you're at work. For example, if you have a customer come in and they are looking through the menu and they see the salmon, they're gonna ask you a simple question. What's the salmon marinated in before it's cooked? Well, you have two options at that point. One, you make it up. Mm, nope, actually that's a bad option. Let's not do that. Please don't make up answers to your questions for the customers. So you really only have one option and that is to go find out what that is marinated in. Whether you have to go ask the chef, maybe there's a binder in the kitchen for you to reference, maybe other servers know. But meanwhile, while you're scrambling for that answer, you've got a table over there who needs more bread. You've got a table over there that's drinks are almost out and need to be refilled. The food is coming up. You've got all these other things that are pressing and priorities, but you're in the kitchen trying to figure out what the salmon's marinated to. Does that sound familiar to anyone? Because I know I've been in that situation before and I've seen so many servers in that situation. And it's just these daily panics that we create for ourselves because we didn't know that it was just olive oil, salt and pepper. And when it comes down to it, it's just memorizing the menu and just becoming more familiar because when your customer asks a question like that and you're able to give them a real response, all of a sudden they're gonna trust you a whole lot more. They're gonna say, oh wow, this server really knows what they're talking about. They're familiar with their products. Hmm, maybe we will take more of their recommendations if they have something that they advise later on. So it builds trust when you know your menu and it reduces stress because you're not running around looking for what the salmon is marinated in. So it's pretty impossible to predict everything that a customer might ask. You're gonna have somebody come in and say, I can't have salt what pasta sauces don't have salt in it. And then you're really gonna have to do your research and figure that out for them. But there's a lot of things that you can prevent by just taking the time and the effort by memorizing the menu and becoming more and more familiar with it. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is to take the menu home with you. Whether you can actually take a copy of it with you back to your house or whether you can take photos of it, that depends on your restaurant and what their policies are. Either way, I want you to read that menu cover to cover. That little blurb in the front page, if you have one, that talks all about how the, the restaurant started. Maybe it was 1985 out of a Chevy that two guys drove across the state of Michigan in search for the best lettuce. I don't know, a lot of restaurants have those little stories. You need to know that because someday you're going to have a customer that comes in and he's like, I was in Michigan in 1985 and you're either going to look at him like, what in the world? Why? What? Or you're gonna look at him and say, I know, isn't that such an interesting story? And here we are again with that trust. If you can prove that you know more about 
or as much as the customer about your restaurant and your menu, you're already leagues ahead of where other servers are right now. Because most people would just look at them and say, I don't know. As you read through that menu, I want you to focus not only on the little asterisk areas where it says, to make this a loaded baked potato, add $2.99, but also the format. Did you know that there's an entire industry that works on putting together and formatting menus so that customers are attracted to certain dishes over other dishes. It's all in the way that they're highlighted, it's in the way that they are positioned on the piece of paper or on the menu. It's pretty incredible. So just take some time to appreciate that and see what is your restaurant really highlighting and how are they doing it? I also want you to read the dessert menu, the nutritional menu, the takeout menu, the little table toppers maybe on your tables if you have them, anything the customer can read. Because at a baseline, you should at least know what your customer knows. Does that make sense? If I go into an Apple store and I show them an iPhone, I want them to at least know that that's an iPhone and what an iPhone does. I hope they know more than me but at least know that much. The real reason I'm asking you to read the menu cover to cover is to first familiarize yourself with the menu so you know uh, what's on it, but we'll dive deeper into that later on, but really it's getting into the customer's mind. So, as we learn to be servers, usually we're very technical. We may have chicken fettuccine alfredo on the menu, and as a server, we're thinking, okay, that's the pasta bowl with the fettuccine noodles and the Alfredo sauce. It comes out, it's got a little green garnish on top. Okay, I know what that is. You write it chick fet in your notes and that's it. For a customer, they just read the description in the menu and it was something along the lines of homemade creamy Alfredo sauce topped over our steamy fettuccine noodles. Mmm, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Much different than your little written down chicken fet on your notebook. So, so let's think about that. So why would a customer order chicken fettuccine over all the other items you have on the menu? It could be because they've had a really long week and maybe they've worked extra hours. Maybe they had a big presentation that they finished and now they're looking to reward themselves with some comfort. Okay, we can work with that. We can think through what comfort looks like. So when I'm taking that customer's order, I can either just write down chicken fett and then move on to the next person, or I can think they are thinking about comfort and they're looking for things that bring them comfort. So maybe this would be a great opportunity to say, you know, we have this great garlic bread that goes really great dipped into our Alfredo sauce. It's kind of makes it creamy and crispy. It's a great combination. Now, do you see what we did there? We just connected with the customer on a very different level. We were up here thinking about the dish. It was very logical. It was just about what we expected to see. The customer, on the other hand, was all emotion. It was what did they feel? How is this gonna help them in their feelings? As a server, if we can connect with those emotions, our ability to add more value to that customer is far more increased. I'm not going to recommend the kale and cabbage salad that we have that's super healthy, that uh, makes you feel like a champion, because that's not what this customer is looking for. They're looking for comfort. So you see, knowing the menu helps you know how the customer is feeling and it helps you know what frame of mind they might be in when they're ordering such an item. So that's a ton of information. And we'll talk more about sales and connecting with the customer's emotions later on. So the real question now is we know it's important. We see how we can use the menu to connect with customers and to reduce our stress and to build trust. But how do we do it? What's the best way to study the menu? Friends, I'm gonna be really honest. It comes down to hard work. A lot of people make flashcards, they make lists in binders, they do all sorts of things, and there is no easy way to study the menu. I'm gonna give you a solution that's worked for me and the people that I've trained, and it's a great method, but it really just comes down to putting in the work. Since we all have limited time and energy, I like to look at the menu and use the 80-20 rule. So let's assume that 80% of the guests come into the restaurant and they order 20% of the items on the menu. 
so you just have to look for your top 20% items. So if you're a new server, you might not know what those are. You probably can find out by looking at your menu if they have a little star next to some items that say house favorite. Maybe you can talk to other servers and ask them what do people tend to order. Your manager should know, the kitchen should know. There's definitely ways to find that out. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna identify those 20% of the menu and we're just going to look at them specifically. So while we look at those dishes, we're gonna learn everything we can about them. We're going to look at them and we're gonna to think to ourselves, okay, first of all, if I was a customer, why would I order this dish? And we're going to imagine ourselves ordering the dish. If it's the chicken fettuccine Alfredo, I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna picture myself ordering the chicken fettuccine Alfredo. What makes me excited about it? What might have brought me to order this over everything else on the menu? Am I already like salivating just thinking about it? And then you're gonna to think to yourself, how would you describe it? If you've tried it, how would you describe it? If you haven't, maybe ask other servers who've tried it. What is it like? What does it remind them of? What have customers said as they've eaten it? So you wanna get as much information and collect as much data as you can about each item. And then you get into the real looking at it and you're saying, okay, now what are the actual ingredients? What do we use in our Alfredo sauce? And that's just memorizing it. And then you're gonna look at what kind of noodles? It's our fettuccine noodles. Okay, what are they made out of? So now for each item, you've got the description memorized, you've got what the ingredients are, and you've got how you would be looking at it if you were a customer ordering that dish. Friends, that's powerful. If you can get to that level with the top 20% of your dishes, you're already leagues ahead. Because now you're gonna be able to do the same thing on the rest of the menu and just break it down into small chunks and just keep working through it. And you're gonna build your artillery full of answers when people have questions. It's gonna be so much easier and you're gonna be so much more confident in yourself if you know the menu and if you are sure of what's on it. Learning the menu is just a choice. It really comes down to your priorities. You can either choose to clock off on your shift, go home and put your feet up and relax, or to spend another hour working and really developing your own skills so that you can be better at your job and you can create more great customer experience opportunities. Those lead to repeat customers, repeat customers lead to referrals to new customers, all of that brings up sales for the restaurant and more tips for you. And it's all the good stuff, friends. Knowing the menu is super important and it will only help you become a better server and raise your confidence and reduce your stress while you're on your shift. All right, promise, this is the last time I'm gonna say it for this video. You must know your menu. I would love to hear how you've learned the menu and what some of the benefits are that you can share with us. It'd be really helpful for our other subscribers. And just wanna say thanks for joining the Tip Club. If you wanna see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe over here. And I hope you have a great next shift. See you later.